So I got these nice cam plug seals, three O-rings. Now, apparently you still have to use liquid gasket when you put them in, but you're gonna use such a thin amount, everywhere you use liquid gasket on this, you're gonna use such a thin amount that it's not, you're not trying to make a seal, you're basically trying to keep rubber from, kind of think of it as like a paste, like you're, so it doesn't fall out. So once you put it on very thin, you just take your finger and you press and rub along, but you're not gonna to press too hard to where you're squishing it, so you don't wanna to touch the metal when you're pressing, just a nice thin thing of liquid gasket all the way around and you're gonna to wanna to do it where the cam seals seat all the way around, um, in here, and then on, this This is the rear cylinder bank, by the way, and you're gonna to wanna to do them all where these are gonna to touch too, so all along here and down, um, so that's for that. Then, you're gonna start the sequence of tightening them down with once you put the once you put the cam covers on and I'll go over that in a moment. Inside the cam plugs, I'm going to coat a little bit of grease, but the grease is this stuff, that's what I'm using and it's soluble with oil, so it breaks down as soon as oil touches it, but it'll keep it lubricated inside the end of the camshafts here. I'm here with more fab. He's going to weld my butterfly screws for me. Check out his channel. And uh, if you need any titanium exhaust or manifolds made, check them out. Awesome. Yeah, Thanks, come out today. So it's the day after the hurricane. I'm back at the shop here. There is no power here, no electricity. But I'm doing making do with the uh, light I have. So I figured I'd show at least this one thing for now. So this is the oil pump assembly. This is the factory oil pump gear set. Mine is fine. Um, however, since I had it open, I did figure I would upgrade it. Now, uh, this is a Toto our Toda um, oil pump gear and these I believe are forged billet where the OEM ones are cast now it's probably fine if you don't do a lot of high revving I do drive spiritedly sometimes I'll hang in high revs around corners stuff like that um, if it's a long bank I'll be in some high revs for a while, possibly. So anyway, this thing just gives me peace of mind. Um, I could rev it all day, and it won't break. They do break. I'll try to find a picture to post of that here. Uh, but there's markings on the old one. And what I did was, uh, there's these two dots right here. And then I, I kept spinning it until I got these two dots here to line up with those. But it doesn't seem to really matter unless you're taking it out to inspect it and maybe just to line it back up with with its original wear thing but even that I don't see how it matters because eventually from spinning it these will go around in each other so like if I spin it a bunch of times there just just once now even see it's not lined up anymore now that dot's there and that dot's there I'm not sure why if you want to comment down in the comment section if you know why uh, go right ahead anyway way to take it out it's easy just pull it out one unit like that and I'll just drop the other one right back in like so now I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on mine first and I'm gonna replace this main seal here but uh that's really it that's all there is to that so and the new one spins nice and freely too to get out the old seal I just uh, took a 36 mil socket whatever one fits in there uh, you can use and I just gave it a little tap and the seal came out I had to tap on it a few times I already had it out but just for demonstration this is the part number for the crankshaft seal for the front the one I just took out that goes in the oil pump but there's the part number
So I ended up switching to a 36 millimeter, I'm sorry, from the 36 millimeter to a one and a half inch socket in order to seat it in properly. Um, I put a little bit of oil around the perimeter of it. I made sure everything was clean first and uh, then I was able to get it to seat nicely. So uh, these are only torqued down to four foot pounds. That's what it calls for. Um, and uh, you're supposed to use a special uh, GIS. It's a Phillips bit GIS. I'll, I'll put it in here uh, below. Um, I just used an impact with a stubby Phillips on it. It's not a number two. It's a little fatter than that. But it fit nice and snug, so I just used that. Um, I just kind of hand tightened them in there. I will check it with a torque wrench later. So I got my intake manifold back from my uh, friend there. More fab and uh, they're all nice and welded in place now. The butterfly screws, all of these bolts up here that hold down this piece are 16 foot pounds. Now, each one. Now, you're supposed to replace your gaskets, and I'm really hoping that mine aren't going to leak. They seem to be in good, pre good, uh, good shape. They're still compressible, they're not crusty or crispy or anything uh, they're still flexible and they don't seem to be they seem like they can be compressed more so I think they're okay which is great because apparently they are discontinued I guess from Acura they had the intake manifold gaskets for these but they only had one of them for one side and it was in Ohio and I wasn't just gonna replace one um, advanced didn't have them AutoZone didn't have them I'm sure I could have tracked them down eventually or made my own but mine seem to be in good shape so I'm gonna reuse them if yours aren't uh, you may have to make your own um, there is gasket material to do that so but yeah anyway these are all 16 foot pounds for this if you do take this apart and you're concerned that you can't find a gasket set, be very careful that you don't rip anything and that they're not too deteriorated when you take them apart. So it doesn't say to do this in the go in the book, but uh general rule that I go by is I tighten inside to outside both ways. So I would start here and kind of go back and forth until you work your way from the inside out. Putting the intake manifold back on the nuts and bolts that hold it on there's four nuts one two three and four and then there's four bolts and those are all 16 foot pounds